So it's Saturday morning, that can only mean one thing. Hog run! <laughs> so it's the first Saturday in March. It's supposed to be spring and it's absolutely freezing, but we are going to be doing our park run anyway. We are at Town Moor this week, back again to Town Moor. The second time that we've done it, it is the fastest, flattest course in Newcastle. It's the original Newcastle park run, started in 2010. So it's over 14 years old. We are here today and we're going to try for a PB. I want to beat me 2607 that I got a gate set a few weeks ago. So come and join us and let's see how we get on at Town Moor Park Run. <laughs> So it's actually another pace a week at Town Moir, which is the best week to do Town Moir, if I'm honest, because it isn't the most scenic of routes, but it is the fastest one. The average finish time, I think, is 27 minutes. And last time I did it, I did get what was at the time a PB of 26.11, which I did, of course, beat at Gateshead on my last park run. So um, with a pace, I feel as though I can go beyond, or below, sorry, 26 minutes. And that's what I'm going to aim for today. I'm going to try and get up to the 26 minute pace early on, stay with them and then hopefully sneak past them at the finish, but, but we'll see. So you're looking forward to your Townmore Park run? I'm a bit tired this morning. But, oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. But I'm just going to do my best. You're going to find a pacer to go around with? Oh, I'm not bothered. If I see one, I see one. If I don't. It makes no difference to me. Well, your PB is 33 minutes, isn't it, at Blythe? And today I think this is good conditions to actually go for it today because it's calm and it's cold, but it makes you run faster. I suppose, yeah. So, I want you to try and find your 33 minutes and go with him. Mm. See if you can get PB. Go yeah. for it, go for it. <laughs> I'm not bothered. So you've got your bright orange trainers on today. Uh-huh. They're your fast ones, are they? They're just me. Older ones, just in case it's moving. You're plodding the long ones. <laughs> plod along. I just plod along anyway. So we thought it might be a busy one, and it is a busy one. Looks very busy. You've got the famous coat hangers on the fence. I'm going to put mine on there. It's very puddly, it's very muddy on this bit, but it should be okay. Most of the course should be okay. So I'm just gonna go and find my 26 minute pacer and uh, just tie myself to him for the next uh, 26 minutes. There's some proper, like serious ones at the front here. Not gonna, not gonna go with them, shall we? In her 200th park run, which is her 100th park run. So it's difficult to get a rhythm at the start here. Yeah. Something up a little bit. So one kilometre already done. Thank you, 
and 2k three more Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Come up to the road now. Last kilometre and a half. Keep going. Thank you. It's fun to really out today. I don't know if it's cold or first I've not really run that much the last couple of weeks. Definitely struggling. But I've done about three and a half kilometres. So keep pushing through. I can't say 26 pace but I've given up. Just want to get it done. Keep going. So 4k. One more left. Thank you. Ah, done. Thank you. Can't see it. I think it's 400 even, I don't know. Anyway, please we'll run because I think I'll beat 26 minute pacer. So that's 10 more apart than the second one I've done here. Mr. driver says 25.30 and if that's right then that will be easily a PB. I did overtake the 26 pacer coming up to the line um, quite a bit before, so I think it's going to be a PB, definitely. It might even be my first one ever below 26 minutes. I'm surprised because I felt like I was struggling halfway through that, but I pushed through, kept going, got it done, and yeah, let's wait for the official result, but I think that's, I think that's less than 26 minutes. Well, wow. absolutely knackered now. Uh, I need to lie down, but that was uh, enjoyable. But hard. Actually, I think we took it in the end. I can't see about my glasses, and I think it was 200 and something. Actually, not 400. I think I might have had it upside down. But anyway, the most important thing was the beating a 26-minute pacer. That was the goal, and uh, looks like I've done it. A little child coming in as well. Look at that. That's what it's about, isn't it? Well done, guys. Brilliant. Keep going, nearly there. is coming now. It looks like she's really struggling. I thought she might have been, been a bit better today, but she did say she was tired. She's got a bit of a cold, so we'll maybe let her off, shall we? Come on, last little bit. Sprint finish. Alright. What was it like? Hard. So that was Talmore Park Run. It's early March and it was absolutely freezing cold. There was ice on bits of the course. It was very, very muddy, very, very busy actually. I don't know what the total uh, number was, but it must be somewhere close to 600, if not more. Obviously a, pay, uh, obviously a pace a week, uh, which always adds to the numbers as well. Um, it's not the most scenic route, as we said, when you're running on it, it it's just around the park, isn't it? But it is, pretty flat and it is a fairly fast route it's just the beginning it's so bunched and you, you end up kind of walking or 
very very slowly running for the first at least um, half a kilometre because you just can't run it's just too crowded and I suppose the only way around it is to start right at the front but then you've got those professional kind of athletes and you don't really want to be in their way so it's, it's a tough one really but um, once I got into my rhythm I, I enjoyed it I did find it hard today I've not as I said I've not run as much in the last couple of weeks as I have been so it was a little bit harder today it was cold as well breathing was difficult but in the end, I managed to beat that 26-minute pace, which I was amazed about. Um, I didn't even see him for most of it. And then I managed to kind of get him within sights on the final kilometre or so. And um, it gave me an extra bit of wind at the end, really, just to push myself because I knew I had a chance of getting closer. I didn't expect to overtake him, actually. So I was delighted to get past him on the finishing straight. And, yeah, it was, um, it was great. Obviously, I don't know what my official time is yet, but it's going to be... Uh, a PB. Me Strava said 25.30, which would be amazing. I'm, I don't think it's going to be quite as, as good as that, maybe, for the actual official time, but we'll see, um, which I'm, I'm amazed about, really, because I was, as I said in the video, I was feeling quite tired halfway round. So, um, but I just got a second wind at the end and, and pushed on through. So, yeah, delighted with me time, really, really pleased. I wanted to beat 26 minutes today. I've managed to beat 26 minutes, so it's been a successful park run. And, um, yeah, um, I've set the standard now. It's going to be hard to match that, isn't it? But we'll see. It's, some of the uh, some of the routes won't be anywhere near that sort of pace. So good to get one in while I could. And yeah, I, I did enjoy it, even though it was tough. But nothing good ever comes easy, does it? So yeah, uh, good run today. So how did you find your part run today? It was really hard. Yeah, I didn't enjoy it. I never enjoyed it, but this was like particularly. I was just really hard. Why do you think it was so hard today? Then I don't know. I just. I'm not enjoying it. I'm really not enjoying it. Um, but know. it's 24. It's your 24th one. You're almost at your I first know, milestone. I I'm nearly doing 25. I said to you, didn't I? I thought, oh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing these for. I don't know what I'm doing it for. But I, I do. I'm trying to get fit. I'm trying to keep fit. And get it's, I want it to get easier, but it's just getting harder. But I don't know why. I mean, your, your times are a bit up and down, aren't they? Yeah. You, you'll have a couple of good weeks where you, you go. I don't know better. how I even got 33, whatever. I really don't know how I even done it. But you can, you've done it, so you can do it. It's on just, me, on me, this was like 37 something, but I think we'll, I, we'll I, see I, what it you're... should be quicker than that because I didn't turn it off straight away. I yeah. forgot actually, you were chatting away to us, and I, oh, I, I forgot to turn it off. Yeah, we'll see what your official time is, but. but uh, I started off faster, but then I just. My legs, I had a pain in my side as well. Um, aching, just heavy legs. My breathing wasn't too bad. See, I found me breathing hard today because um, it was cold. But... but yeah, it was cold. Cold, muddy. So my trainer was a bit. Proper park run conditions. Proper park run. At least it wasn't as bad as like the rising sun, that, that would be. No. Oh, swimming through that. But yeah, do, anyway, it's done. It's done. Yeah, you've done 24. You've got 24. Your, One more to go you, to you, get that like milestone of 25. So. Your big 25 next week. Yeah. Where are you going to go, do you think, for your big one? Blythe, probably. Yeah, it's your favourite one, isn't I, it? I don't know why. I just like it. Well, yeah, go. Do I your like favourite the one for I like going down yeah, it is and nice. passing the beach huts. I like getting to see the sea. But this one is boring and muddy and bunched yeah, up. It's and not the most exciting. We walked. Exciting. I said this one we say is how we started. Because we were walking. Yeah, no, the beginning's tough there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's so busy, that's why. Like 600 once, you get, once you get going, yeah. And yeah. the best bit is when you come back, when you come out and go onto the pavement. Oh, on the main road, out, yeah. That's probably the best. Because yeah. you know that like, you've you've done over three kilometres. You've passed the three kilometres. So you've only got like, you know. Two more. Two more. No, that is a good bit, yeah. I like coming back into the park again. and That's the best. Yeah, that's yeah. my favourite bit. But I, like. I just found it really hard. Just hard to like lift my legs. But no, it's done anyway. It's done, 24. On next one, one more to go. One more to go. So if you have enjoyed the video today at the Townmore Park Run, uh, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. We'll be back again, of course, very soon. Some more park runs. Paul is 25th maybe next week if football's off. We'll be covering that one as well. That'll be good. Um, and obviously some more grassroots football stuff. There'll be some grassroots football journeys when the weather decides to get better. I can get the drone up. We'll do some more of that. There'll be some more drone stuff as well. Loads and loads of stuff coming up on the channel as always. So I say please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching today and I will see you on that next one.